In this video, we are going to look at a collection class which belongs to Java Util package. It has few static utility methods to use with collections. If we have a list and we want to look up the index location of a string in a list, first we can sort the list by calling collections method sort. And passing our list, which I have created over here. This will sort the list, and then we can find the index position of our string in our list by calling collections method binary search and passing our list and the strings index we want to look up so just car on this list and now i'm going to print out the index location of the sorted list index of car is And this location is one after we sorted that list and then print the index. Now I'm going to create two lists and copy one list to another. I will create a list of integers and I will name it list one and then new red list and I'll type integer and then I'm going to add few numbers such as one and then uh, two that should be two This is list one. And then add one more number to it. Three. And then I will create another list of interior. And call it list two and use array list as integer and add a few numbers to this list too. We're calling this add method. That would be four. Let's not add five. This will be list two. And just one more. Six. Now I want to copy this list two to list one. So I'm going to use collections method dot copy. And passing the source list that will be list one or the destination list, and the source list will be list two. So we are going to copy list two to list one, and then I'm going to print this list by using for each cube, and it's going to be integer. Thank you. 
just going to use a shorter version that will be list one and it can be used after jdk java 8 and it's method list of forage so each and then we are going to pass in system dot out print line and just save and run the program you can see the list uh, two is copied to list one and i will have another list where list uh, oh, list just a list and i will name it some list and create the calling new array list and i will fill this lid list with uh, some elements uh, some objects such as a i'm just gonna give it a size over here it's just three and i'm going to use collection dot fill i'm going to fill this list pass in some list with our spring a and then i'm going to print this list to make sure that we have this list filled with spring a so it's gonna be it's gonna copy paste that one and change the name over here of the list some list Then print run our program over here of type spring two I'll add three elements over here and then I'm going to fill the day so I'm just gonna do some list because the currently is empty spring so I'm just going to add B and just going to copy again so we will have three b's and after we fill it we should have three a's you know list and you can see it filled that list with the three a's now i'm going to create a, another list and i will just name it uh, l of type string oh then a new array list and to this list i will add a then add B then we'll add C and then I'm going to use collections to reverse this string by calling its method reverse collections dot reverse and passing our list that is L and then I'm going to print the elements of this string I just copy this line and modify it with our list name and this will become L
and you can see on the console it reversed our list so this way you can use a collection a uh, different method with, with a list or other collection on java to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel keep supporting me and thank you for watching